Okay, so we're now going to look at actually selecting data specifically from this table that we've created. Um, what we're going to do is first of all select everything and then we're going to look at bringing back only the things that we actually need. So uh, the first command that we're going to do is uh, select star, so an asterisk from, and then we're going to define the table name. And in this case, obviously, it's articles. OK, so let's take a look at this. So select basically just selects data. And asterisk means select all columns. So star means basically all columns, not all records. There's different ways to limit data, which we'll look at a bit later. And from, obviously, you know, it's obvious it defines which uh, table that we want to get the data from. So in this case, what it's going to do is it's going to give us this nice little ASCII table, and uh, we can now see the data we inserted into our table earlier. Now in this case, uh, it shows us that we've got one row, we've got a name, a description, a creator, and an ID. Now let's just talk a little bit through this, because we know that we created these columns specifically to find the data types, and uh, the ID particularly, uh, we can go back and, and check that this uh, also increments in a moment. So name is obviously a string, description is a string, they're pretty straightforward. But remember in the last video we used the now function to define the created at date and time. And you can now see that the created at shows the year, the month, the day, the hour, the minutes and the seconds that this that this field was actually, uh, this uh, record was actually inserted. Now ID, although we didn't specifically define it when we inserted the data, is now also incremented to 1. Uh, it'll obviously have started at 0 and it increments to 1, so we've now started started at 1. This record is now identified always by the value 1. So let's go ahead and just insert some more data and just check that this ch checks out what, what we're doing here. So I'm just going to go and say, uh, I don't know, introduction to uh, PHP or something like that. And let's go ahead and uh, create another description. So uh, if you need to get started with PHP, this article should help you. Okay, so now let's go back to our select star from articles command or select asterisk from articles command. And you can now see that we've got two records here. Uh, let's just go ahead and increase the width of this, um, say 140. And let's run that command again. So that just uh, gives us a little bit more room. But we can see now that we've got two records. Um, at the bottom we say it says two rows in set. And uh, we now see that we've got the created at time and date is different, obviously. And the ID is now two for this second record. So that's another unique identifier added for this record. So we've got two records, two unique identifiers, the data that we inserted. And uh, we can see this visually within the MySQL monitor in this nice little ASCII table. Um, so we can use select star for that. Now, what if we need to go ahead and select specific fields only? So let's say I wanted to get all records, but I was only interested in getting the name and the description or some, or you know, any combination of these um, from this database table. So instead of saying select asterisk, I need to go ahead and say select, and then I need to comma separate the fields that I want to return. So in this case, I can say name, comma, description from articles. So asterisk basically means all columns. This will now only select me the name and the description. So you can see that now, compared to the table above, we're missing the created at an ID column, and we can see the name and the description. So that's how we select data from our MySQL table.